Good morning guys and welcome to this edition of High Cloudpedia. I'm back in the mountains again today and I'm at Guan U. Don't know if I said that right, but that means one thing. I'm heading to the Da Ba Jian Trail to do four peaks and uh, according to my friends this is one of the nicest Bayou trails you can do in Taiwan but it's also pretty long because today we've got to walk around 18, 19 K along this forest road and then climb 900 meters up to 99 cabin or Jojo Shandrung. So it's going to be a long day. Uh, got a reasonably late start. It's just before eight o'clock, but uh, I've got plenty of daylight because it's summer. So uh, you should be fine. And plus, if you get to the cabin too early, it's pretty boring anyway, especially if you're on your own, like I am today, flying solo. But I'm only doing this one solo because I know it's a super busy trail. And uh, you can see already, there's another group of five or six people in front of me. So it's not like I'm gonna be so lonely. Anyway, I gotta carry on walking, stop talking. I've got a lot of miles to do. Catch you later. Well, I guess that if I thought this road was going to be nice and quiet, like the Shui San West Ridge Forest Road, then I'm sorely mistaken. As you just saw, there's a motorbike just gone past and also there's a lady on a bicycle. That's the second bicycle I've seen. Dayo, dayo. Dayo. Wow, I just saw a family of four with two kids, probably a bit younger than my son, riding their bikes. I guess they must have done the trail too. Something, getting my son to hike with me, something like this. <sighs> it's what dreams are made of. <laughs> Tough work. This forest road is the busiest one I've ever been on. There's motorbikes, there's trucks, just had a few cars come past and also trail runners so um, it's more like a highway than a forest road <laughs> i'm almost at the end now i'm about 16 kilometers then we've got um gonna have some lunch at uh, madala i think it's called and then we've got a 900 meter climb <laughs> to the uh, camp for the night
Okay, I'm about halfway to the hut now. And uh, this trail's pretty busy, as I thought it would be. There's a lot of people on the trail. But it's fun, because you got somebody to talk to. Half a kilometer left to the hut. Um, starting to level out, thankfully, so we're pretty steep. Um, and the mist rolled in, so now you won't be able to tell if it's my autofocus or the mist. So I guess that's a good thing. So I made it to uh, 99 cabin or Jojo Shandrang and um, it's pretty big. Um, I'm bed 89, but I think there's probably about six people in here so far. There's a few more coming up the trail, but um, it's definitely not going to be full. Um, this place is huge. It's bigger than Payun and bigger than uh, 369. It's got like separate toilet blocks, a kitchen block and all kinds of other little places as well. It's pretty cool. I'm trying out my new quilt from Adam's Company. Looking forward to sleeping in it tonight. Some local temple has brought their god up to the mountain. Let's have a look. Shilin Chen Shou Guan Yin Miao. So he's already been up to the top and now he's going back down tomorrow. Dinner was a success and I've just um, put the water in my uh, oatmeal for breakfast tomorrow. Cold soak is my latest thing. Although you can only do it two or three times in a row because then it gets a bit boring. Tomorrow morning I'll add some uh, blueberries and walnuts to this and um, it's not bad. All right guys, so it's four o'clock in the morning and um, I've done about a kilometer already. I didn't really want to start this early, but I didn't really have much choice because everybody else got up in the hut at around 2 a.m. for breakfast and uh, it's difficult to sleep. So I got up around three, had some breakfast. I'm on the trail. Still got another hour and a half before sunlight. But uh, we'll be up on the ridge by then, so I guess we'll get some nice views of uh, Dabajian. Oh, and I can't film it, but the stars are absolutely amazing. Uh, you can see everything tonight. There's no clouds, and it's a lovely clear night. And I've got my shorts on, and I'm not even cold. Check it out. The sun is up at last and um, wow, some beautiful views. I didn't really capture any of them yet though, but coming soon. It's been a long time coming, but finally made it to Da Ba Jin Shan. And uh, honestly, it didn't disappoint. It's absolutely amazing. Even though you can't climb up to the top, just the view and the surrounding area is just unbelievable. Been to a few peaks now in Taiwan, but I'd say this is probably the top of the, this tops the lot.
the only way is up. Jen. It's quite a tough climb up here. Uh, some rope sections and uh, hanging over a cliff. Not for the faint hearted. I think I'm the first person up here today. Now I'm going down. There's so many people on this trail. I didn't stay at the top of uh, Shaobajin very long because I didn't want to do the rock climbing part when there's people coming up. But uh, now there's, there's about seven people on the summit and there's another 20 or 30 going up there. So there's going to be big traffic jams. Don't want to get involved. Years ago, I think when I first came to Taiwan, you could still climb Daba Jen and I think the trail started from here around the back but they stopped it a few years ago I'm not sure of the reason why maybe there was some accidents or it was just deemed too unsafe as hiking became more popular there'd be more and more people going up there so there's more chance of more accidents um, it looks pretty damn challenging uh, it would have been nice to try it all those years ago but I wasn't so much into hiking back then so never came This shelter's kind of funny. Um, I guess it must have been built about 30 or 40 years ago because it's so short. Even young Taiwanese people wouldn't fit under it nowadays. I guess some of the old ones would. Look. Now there are actually two more Bai Yue on this trail um, but obviously they're not as glamorous as uh, Da and Xiao Ba and this sign tells you that I need to be going up there for one of them so let's get up there That didn't take long Yi Hard to believe that um, three hours ago I was right on top of that. Yeah, seems so far away now. All right, it's time for the last of the four on this trail. Uh, Jali Shan is one kilometer in that direction. Hey, number four of this trip and number 26 overall. Alright, so this is the summit of Jali Sham, which is the last one of the four. Uh, I've just had some lunch and now heading back to the cabin. I'm gonna be there super early. 
I don't know what I'm going to do all afternoon. And we're back at 99 Villa Cabin Hot. Hey. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> I'm fed and watered and it's like six o'clock now and 30 minutes the sun is gonna go down and when you're in a place like this that basically means bed all right guys it's 5 a.m. Um, I've been on the trail for about 40 minutes now heading down the 4k to Madala camp and then it's just another pretty boring 17k along the forest road back to the trailhead so I'm probably not going to film too much today unless something interesting happens. That's the hard work of the descent done. It took me about one hour, 40 minutes. I've still got my head torch on. Now it's forest road time that was the end of my three day two night um, walk along the Daba Trail. I'm in the car park at Guan U. I've just finished the hike and I'm just going to do the outro now while it's fresh in my memory. Uh, first off I'd like to say of all the trails I've done in Taiwan that one has to be one of the most visually stunning. Um, the views on day two when you get up onto the ridge and walk around and you can see the Daba peaks it's just absolutely amazing. It's, it's up there with one of my favorite hikes in Taiwan so far. Um, but that's also because of a number of other reasons. The other reason is that the trail itself is not very difficult. Um, it's quite steep in sections, uh, especially the first four kilometers up to 99 hot. But apart from that, and there's a small technical part, if you want to go up to the peak of Xiaobajian Shan, it's quite um, hair raising if you're if you're scared of heights there's a bit of rope work and there's a bit of rock climbing and there's big drops below you so if you are not too confident then that could be a problem but apart from that the whole trail in my opinion is pretty easy um, the first day is just 17 kilometers along a forest road and then a four kilometer climb to the hut the second day is a total of 20 kilometers, so it's quite long, but there's nothing really that difficult involved. There's no huge slopes, um, so it's not too bad. And then the third day is just coming back. So overall, a pretty easy trail with really rewarding views. Of course, that depends on the weather. I was very lucky. I had great weather all three days. Accommodation, like the other longer hikes in Taiwan you need to book your spot on the trail and your accommodation on the usual website and the accommodation at 99 um, Shandrang, Jojo Shandrang or 99 Villa whatever you want to call it it's pretty good it's probably up there with one of the nicest huts that I've stayed at so far in Taiwan it's pretty old but it's really big and it holds up to about 200 people I believe um, and so there are two or three companies doing the catering. There's Bunan, which I've talked about in other videos, and there's also another company called Yuan Li, and there was a third company as well, but I didn't quite catch the name. But Jojo Shandrang is a really cool place to hang out after you've finished your hike and when you're eating, and there's, a, there's like open leisure areas where you can hang out and talk to people. And it's a nice place. 
of course the usual problem exists in that you're staying in a big dorm and people get up at 2 a.m and it's basically like a herd of elephants trampling on plastic bags pulling zippers and flashing disco lights in your face so it's very very difficult to get a good night's sleep but um that's compensated by the views transportation you can drive up to guanu it's about two hours from where i live in shinju so from taipei it's probably around three hours but there's also a bus service that runs from shinju hsr yeah i mean for me it was a really enjoyable uh trek and i also got to test out some new equipment i got a new nature hike backpack basically i saw adam's backpack when we did um, the Shan ridge and i really liked it so i went and bought it it was only just over 2000 nt dollars about 70 us and uh, it performed pretty well um, the thing I really like about it is it's got really big stretchy pockets on the back and the sides where you can put your water bottles and all the junk and it's got a roll down top. And I also tried out a couple of products that I bought from Adam. The sleeping quilt which was really nice and warm and comfortable. I really enjoyed sleeping in that and I've also tried out my merino underwear on this track and um, they performed pretty well. So I think that's about it. That's all I've got to say about this hike. If you have any other questions about things that you think I have missed out, then just drop them in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to support the channel, then you can click thanks down below or head on over to buy me a coffee, see what's on offer over there. And of course, three coffees or more, and I'll get in contact with you about a Hikopedia embroidered patch. And lastly, if you liked the video and found it useful, don't forget, Give me a like and you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications whenever my new videos come out every Saturday. Alright, that's it guys. Now I've got a long two hour drive down mountain roads back to Shinju now. So uh, I better get going. In the meantime, take it easy and I'll see you next week. Over and out.